Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you again for tuning in to American Limousine Sales Presents this beautiful, luxurious 2016 Mercedes-Benz luxury high-top sprinter van. It's the 3500 model. Beautiful chrome exterior accents. Motorized retractable full-size entry step. Got the yellow trim on it for visibility. We also added the chrome wheels. It's got tons of rear luggage compartment. It's got a backup camera, backup sensors. Um, it's got the sound indicator when you're in reverse. And it's also got a sound indicator when you leave the door open. Let's take a look inside. Look, check out this beautiful chrome entry set. We're the only ones in the business that do this, by the way. This is exclusive for American Limousine Sales in Los Angeles. We've also got the uh, hand rail for entry with the carpeted trim and the uh, molding, the piping there. And check out the armrest. It's a different color combination. So we decided to do uh, a new color combination on this one. So it's an Alante smooth tan finish with the uh, granted style trim and the vertical double stitch. And you can see the beautiful handcrafted double stitch on the seats there. This is all handmade, by the way. American made, handmade, guys. Not made anywhere else, only in the United States of America. We're the exclusive manufacturer of this type of interior. It's all custom done here by hand. And what we're looking at here is some beautiful courtesy blinds. And you also got the matching trim finish on the door and you got the uh, perforated aluminum mesh style LED lighting there on the rails with the uh, beautiful star lights that change colors let's take a look at that look how nice that is and if you look around a little bit closer I'm going to turn down the AC so you guys can get good sound on this let's take a look around here Beautiful full-size bar, stainless steel ice bins. We're not using plastic. So make sure when you're buying, you know, a, a limousine or a sprinter or a bus, you know, you got to really look at the materials that are being used in the vehicle. It's very important. I think, uh, you know, one of, my, uh, one of my team members or associates in the office mentioned to me, you know, if we could do a video and show people, you know, what to look for when they're buying a vehicle, this is a great way to do it. So one of the things you want to look for in a particular interior, I'm not going to specify on the Sprinter, but I'm just giving you a, a you know, generic um, sample or a general example, which is uh, stainless steel ice bins are a big, huge factor because over time, plastic or any other type of material such as acrylic, uh, you know, begins to crack and uh, wear and tear faster than a stainless steel bin will. So uh, even though stainless steel bins come in certain sizes, you can't custom make them any size you want, they do hold up longer, which is uh, a key factor in this business. You know, when you're putting ice in there and, uh, you know, it gets hot and cold temperatures, you really want to be able to, you know, distinguish good quality material being used in your vehicle. Now, uh, another one of the things I want to point out on this bar, if you notice, we're using stainless steel, perforated, not stainless steel, excuse me, perforated aluminum sheets. So it is pretty sturdy. It's not really easy to bend. So it can, it can, it can hold up. It can hold up. Let's just put it that way. So I don't suggest you go at it with a hammer. You know, you will dent it just like any other material you can dent. Um, but it is very sturdy. And uh, you'll notice that the black glossy finish on the bars here is also a pretty thick material. It's actually acrylic. Uh, acrylic is a lot stronger than plastic or plexiglass, even though it technically is plastic, but it's a lot stronger. Uh, it's, you know, it can be almost bulletproof if uh, you get the right grade of acrylic. So let's take a look at the backing of the bar. You'll notice it's stainless steel. It is not plastic. It is not um, acrylic. It's actually stainless steel. So it's very sturdy. And you'll notice they did the beautiful star lights on the, uh, on the bar backing. So it really, you know, accentuates the bar, you know, beauty. So if you look closely at the bar, you'll notice the champagne glasses there sitting uh, very nice. 
We even put the red napkins and the cocktail glasses and we added the trim there. Um, these blinds actually do go up. They're not automated, they're manual, but uh, you know, it gets the job done. So I mean, they work really well. I think it's great if you really wanna have a maintenance free vehicle over time. So that's a key factor. Uh, when you look at this vehicle, you're looking you know, at a lot of different types of lighting all into one. So you got your mood lighting here, and then you've got your courtesy lighting there. And then you've got more mood lighting here along with the pinpoint star lights all the way throughout. Look at how beautiful that looks. That's what I call Rolls Royce. All right. And then we also added the lighting behind the speaker. And you also got the double din Kenwood stereo here, which, oh, by the way, you can actually watch live TV on this vehicle. You can watch live TV. And we do not use a... But, uh, or I want to, let, let's be real clear here. This system is custom made by us. It's not a computer board. It's just relays and fuses, which you can go out and get at Radio Shack for parts or for any other electronic store. You can get a fuse anywhere. You can get a relay anywhere. I'll even give you the link on eBay. Okay, we make our system hassle-free. So I've seen some of the other sprinters out there. They're using a new system. It's called Firefly. I... Don't necessarily think that's the best way to do it. I'm not going to knock anybody who's using it. I know a lot of you uh, sprinter builders are, but when you need a replacement on that Firefly, what kind of warranty comes with that system itself? Not from the manufacturer, not from the coach builder itself. Like if, you, if I contact Firefly and my system goes out, can I get a new one? How much is it gonna cost me? How long does it take? These are the questions you need to ask when you're buying something like that. Now, again, I'm not being specific on this Sprinter or any others. I'm just being specific in general. When you're buying a limousine, you wanna know what parts are being used in it. Where can you get more? That's a very good question to ask. If, you know, if, if uh, I buy this Sprinter from you, Richard, and this speaker right here goes out, are you gonna give me a new one? Yes, I'll get you a new one, easy. Richard, what about if uh, this piece of acrylic Stop sliding up. How can I get another one? Easy. Cut your new one, mail it to you. You'll have it, what, a couple days? Okay, that's an example. Now, if you call me and say, Richard, somebody tore my seats with a knife. Uh, you're on your own, buddy. I hope you charge the customer good money for that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll help you get the stuff, but um, that one, something like that wouldn't be covered, of course. Hope you guys know that. <laughs> So we do have the TV and the uh, privacy divider window, as you can see. And uh, again, both of these TVs play live digital TV signal TV. So whatever is on in our area, you got it. Check out the hardwood floor. It's like a darker shade. We also got under, care, under the seat uh, storage, plenty of storage. Okay. So... I guess that's a route, you know, that about wraps it up, guys. There's not, you know, it's not, it's not a huge limo bus, but I mean, it's a, it's a nice looking sprinter that can hold 12 to 14 passengers, depending on your passengers. Okay. So if you have any interest or have any questions or would like to see any of the other 50 or so vehicles I have in stock ready to go, then you got to give me a call. My number is 323-209-8510. Thank you for your time.